Now, surely this tactic should not work, right? I mean, look at it. There's no attacking midfielders or strikers. So I was speaking to a tactical FM player from my streams who tests quite a lot of tactics using the test league that we have featured here on the channel before with Coinbird and Stick Piano. Shout out to those guys, especially Stick who's been actually using this formation before in the past. And I know that he is going to be very interested in this video. And we joked around about this tactic with no strikers and no attacking midfielders. Attackerless, if you will. And I've run some tests. And I've got to show you the results because if you remember when we had the test league, we have showcased this a few times now. The highest points tally that I have seen in the test league with Inter Milan is 142. Remember that number, the points total, 142. So we'll go through the instructions for this tactic again later on. But remember, please, to subscribe because we are always trying to push the boundaries here of Football Manager through wacky tactics and experiments just like these. And I love showing you guys the results of them. We are close to 30,000 subscribers, so you can help me get there because there is a big percentage of viewers who aren't subscribed. And if I get a 1,000 likes on this video, I plan on doing a wacky experiment using the 10-team test league where I get all of those teams to use this tactic and see what carnage instills and see who comes out as the winner. 1,000 likes, that's your goal for this one. Now, I know some of you may absolutely hate the fact that this tactic works because obviously it's not realistic to football. No team's going to go out of their way and not play a striker or an attacking midfielder at all. It's not really realistic, but I like it. And if you're like me, I like things that are different and stuff that you'd never thought would work. So maybe let me know down in the comments whether you hate the fact that this works or whether you absolutely love it like me. Now, I ran this tactic with a few teams and it even won Tottenham a trophy, which is obviously a miracle. That doesn't happen very often. Now, this is that Europa Conference League final that you can see straight from kickoff. And you can see already how our shape is playing out and how difficult it is for Roma to break us down. This flat five in the midfield secures this. Yes, they've got players there, but the only out ball that they've got is one over the top. And if your defenders are switched on, you can cover those roles. Straight again as well, we lose the ball and you can see we're back into this and it makes it very difficult to break us down. Another ball played over the top towards Tammy Abraham and Ndombele is there in front of them. They cannot get the ball to him and it does look like that's where we'll keep frustrating the team, win the ball back and counter-attack them. Now, when we are in the attack, you can see here, despite the fact that we have no attackers, you will find because of the roles that are on attacking, you have a lot of players running forward. Especially the two Mazalas, they seem to drift wide as well alongside your inverted wingers, and it creates overloads on each side of the pitch. And you'll notice that through some of the goals that we're going to take a look at today. Now, some of the main important roles in this tactic, and I will make it available, by the way, to download down in the description. The Roman playmaker has to be somewhat defensive as well as a bit of a ball player so make sure you have that type of player in your squad the midfielders these three in the middle it would be a good idea if they had decent finishing because they're going to be the ones that put away a lot of chances you can see here when i'm using tottenham i've put harry kane in that center midfield on attack he's going to be the most central player and he has he obviously has 19 for finishing and when he breaks away he's got 27 premier league goals 40 goals in total across the season it's also quite a good idea that despite these wingers being inverted wingers that if you're playing on the right hand side to have a right footed player and if you're playing on the left hand side have a left-footed player. The main reason for that is when these guys get the ball in the box, it's nice for them to have cutbacks for these three players to come in instead of having to cut back onto their strong foot and then whip across in, which tends to be blocked by then the defense is a little bit in a better shape to defend it. Now, other results with this, Kings Lynn managed to finish in fifth place despite if you take a look at their media prediction down in 21st. So that's a big success as well. And they got to the fifth round of the FA Cup. The fifth round for a non-league Vanarama National League team. They lost in extra time in the playoffs to Barnet to almost get themselves promotion. San Etienne was another overachiever as well. You can see here they finish in second place, only behind PSG throughout the whole season, losing eight games and drawing 10. And they are meter predicted to finish in 10th mid-table, yet they've managed to bag themselves Champions League football next year. Napoli is another one. Although they finish in second place in behind Inter Milan, hold the fort of Inter Milan, they managed to finish runners-up to the Europa League, which it was a bad result against Real Sociedad, a 5-0 loss. You're going to see some 
some results like that. Some of these teams are just going to be able to work the way around the tactic and, and kind of suss it out. And to be honest, Sociedad have a great team, but the fact that they managed to get there and finish in second place and have some unbelievable results along the way that you're going to see a lot of goals in this tactic, even despite you not actually having any strikers or center, it's all center midfielders, obviously no, no strikers or center attack midfielders. They, they put five past Leicester in the semi-final first leg and then four past them in the away leg. If we take a look at the data hub for the Tottenham Hotspur season, the attack efficiency shows how far out this tactic is in aggressive shooting and clinical shooting. Now they might not have had the most shots per game, that's Liverpool and you kind of expect that, but the conversion rate for the shots shows that the chances that they are creating are a lot better than some of the shots that the other teams are taking. You're not hitting long shots from outside the box. You tend to find runners going through in that box area, and I'll show you again if we go to this tactic. You're going to find your Mazala around about here. You're going to find the inverted winger around about here. That creates overloads for the centre midfielder or the other attacking Mazala or even the other winger to be around that edge of the box or around the edge of the six-yard box for the cutbacks. Easy, low cross tappings. So let's take a look at some of the goals scored in that Leicester game, 5-0 that we had. On the attack here, look how many chances we are going to create just from having more men in the box. Fabian there, left, unmarked, runs in. He is probably the centre midfielder on attack. He actually bags himself a hat-trick because the same again. Mauro Rui has now created an overload because there's another player there. Even though he's offside, Insigne gets himself back onside. Fabian for the low cross. Another two opportunities here that we'll see, or two goals scored against Udinese towards the end of the season. Mauro Rui doing fantastic work down the left-hand side, creating that back post overload. There's three guys there who have an opportunity to tap it in and only two of them being marked. That's what it creates. So many opportunities from that and even from free kicks. You've got so many men forward, so many men in the box. A little pass in there, that's quite a clever goal. Now, remember I said about the Test League, 142 was the highest goals tally that I have seen so far. Well, look at this, 165. Yes, I cannot quite believe it myself. Out of the 72 games played in this 10-team 10, 10 Test League, they only lost 11 games and they drew 9 finish on 165. Despite Man United and Liverpool both having decent seasons, that's very high for Manchester United. Remember, we're expecting to see points per game above 1.8, and anything around 140 is definitely a success, and it's slightly a success, even if you just beat Liverpool to top the league. But 165, I spoke to Stick, I spoke to SNG, they said that's the highest that they've ever seen. They've never seen something above 150 until we tested this tactic. Statistically, it scored the most goals. It had the fewest shots against, showing how good it is defensively. The fewest conceded altogether. It didn't get the most clean sheets, but they're still conceding the fewest amount of goals. And in fact, you're second there for the most clean sheets. They easily had the most tackles by about 300 nearly. And that just goes to show how much you are tackling in this game. And I'll prove that to you more in the scatter graphs. And the points per game ratio, remember, we're thinking around about 1.8 as an elite level tactic. This is 2.29. That is ridiculously high. 2.29. I've never seen it that high. Now, this was run with Lataro Martinez, another striker playing in that centre midfield role. For the reasons that I spoke about earlier, he has great off the ball. He has fantastic finishing as well despite obviously 17 heading as well 15 long shots and he gets himself into those areas because he has great teamwork and work rate and obviously natural fitness and stamina he's also very aggressive as well 18 for aggression and this is what this tactic needs high aggressive tackling because we are in a very attacking mentality i'll go through the player instructions first so you can see for each one if you wish to copy it if you can't download it of course but again the link will be down below there's mazala on attack you're going to see a lot of added instructions for these and that's basically mark tighter tackle harder being very secure in defense the rowing playmaker again here we can see quite a lot is selected the fullbacks on attack if you've got decent fullbacks you'll notice that they'll get involved a lot during these uh the goals that you will score because of the overloads that you create at the back post or create 
while you're attacking. The goalkeeper, uh, sweeper keeper, no instructions whatsoever. Again, right, very attacking mentality in possession. We are playing extremely wide. We're trying when we're on the attack to give ourselves as most, the most room as possible. Passing into space, playing out of defense is slightly more direct with an extremely high tempo. Working the ball into the box, we're not creating any chances that we don't think we're gonna score from. Hence the reason why our efficiency was so high compared to our shots per game. Low cross. I've already mentioned it before, it's so important that you have the final third low crosses and look for them. It is a Gagan press, but we're rolling it out when we do have the ball and out of possession. We are much high line of engagement, high defensive line. It looks very weird like that, doesn't it? Using your side trap, a much more often trigger press, preventing the short goal kick distri distribution. This is what the general performance looks like in the data help you can see. 2.75 goals per game. So much higher than the rest of the league uh, by about 1.6. Even the XG is two goals per game as well. So that just goes to show the, the chances we are creating is very high. Like in, in, re in regards to that low cross, we should be scoring a lot of those goals. But more on to the data hub. Let's take a look at attacking and defensive efficiency a sec. Attacking efficiency, we are far and wide out there with the conversion rate of nearly 18% compared to just below the 16 shots per game that we are having Manchester United having the most shots but a little bit more wasteful than what we are but this is also very solid in defense we've shown how the, the how it's very hard to break down our backs of four with that Roman playmaker buzzing around blocking anything in between the strikers and the midfielders there the quiet defense, impenetrable defense, we are right down the bottom there with the lowest opposition conversion rate and the shots base per game. Tackling. I mentioned how important it was. Look at this scatter graph because we are far and wide above any other team in the league for the tackles attempted per game. You're going to give away a lot of fouls. You're probably going to get quite a lot of yellow cards. But what it does do is create so many tackles that you're going to win the ball back a lot more often than the other team therefore creating more chances. But what is very interesting is this. Because you're winning the ball back so often, and because of the shape not allowing you to have a lot of triangles, you will find you'll be down the bottom here in the passing scatter graph for the passing completion ratio compared to the passing attempts per game. We have the lowest passing attempts per game and we have the lowest pass completion ratio. But when you're winning the league by this amount and you're scoring goals as efficiently as we are with goals like this, then it's very hard to argue how good this tactic really is despite how bad it looks. It just creates so many chances, so many ways of defending properly. It's it's absolutely sublime to watch. And by the way, I want to show you how good this goal is again. Lovely little intricate play from the two midfielders, but Christian Eriksen, that is naughty. A lovely chip off of the goalkeeper there. In off the bar. This this tactic is absolutely fantastic, viewers. So yes, let me know your thoughts on this tactic beside me right now. Do you like it? Do you like the fact that it works? Do you hate it? I absolutely love it. And remember, 1,000 likes and we'll do an experiment where every single team in the Test League uses this tactic throughout the whole season. I'll, I'll make sure every manager cannot be sacked, so it guarantees every team is using this, and we'll just see the carnage that ensues. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you watch this video with another tactic in the Test League that is absolutely insane right now. Everybody's been loving it, and I'll see you very soon in the future. Bye-bye.